keep my garden back to a new further my further thoughts on movies my favorite movies and movies that aren't really my favorites but i do are no, not my absolute favorites but movies that i do enjoy still not as much as the, my absolute favorites series that we have began begun not so long ago and yeah, this is the second episode, and I want to give my further thoughts on the 2017 It movie. Which, yeah, we have recently passed the one-year anniversary of the first time when I first watched the, uh, the first It movie. Which, yeah, the 2017 one was actually the first It movie I watched. And then, of course, I watched the 2019, and then I watched the, you know, Tim Carey one. The original one. But yeah. I want to give my further thoughts on the first movie. Because, well, again, I just wanted to give my further thoughts on the first movie. And see if it still holds up, really. Right? See if it still holds up really a year later for me. And just because, you know, the prequel series is coming out next year as well, right? The prequel series, Welcome to Derry, is coming out next year. And I'm definitely looking forward to the prequel series. And, again, I, I do love the story, which, yeah, I've never read the actual books of, you know, that the movies are based on, obviously. You know, Stephen King's actual novels. Because, again, this, the movies are based on his novels, the books. Right? Kind of like how Left Behind is ba the movies are based on the books as well. But, yeah, I definitely really do enjoy the story. I definitely, it's definitely one of those, um, which, honestly, definitely not the scariest, at least to me, though. I didn't really find... These movies scary, obviously. I mean, y'all can correct, y'all can give me what y'all thought, though. But yeah, I didn't really get find these. And yeah, there are lots of crazy parts and stuff. But again, I really do like the story of these and the concept as well. I mean, everybody would have a fear of clowns, right? And using that as the main antagonist, right? Pennywise. As the main antagonist as well. Like, yeah. And of course, Pennywise coming to Derry. 27 years, right? 27 years. And I I really do like the actor. I mean, I love all the actors in the, the movies. But especially Pennywise's actor. I really like Pennywise's actor. Which I have seen... I have watched... Behind the scenes, behind the scenes, and his actor seems like a very nice guy, a very nice, kind of guy to be to be around, right? I mean, again, it's just it's like some people that you know you you would like to that seems again. I can't. It's kind of hard to explain, really, but you know what I'm talking about when it comes to certain actors. You're not too sure exactly how they would act, you know, outside of what they're working on. But, yeah, it, the act, his actor, actually, which I kind of think I prefer the the guy on uh, that does Pennywise on the 2017 and 2019 version comparing to Tim Carey. Which, yeah, Tim Carey also did a good job as well in the original. But I especially like... The guy that did Pennywise in the 2017 and 2019 one. And also, him, of course, coming back for Welcome to Derry, right? Yeah, he is coming back to own the Welcome to Derry prequel series next year. And, yeah, poor Georgie, though, right? Again, whenever you think about this movie, or talk about this movie, or especially the first one, you always have to think about Georgie, though. Again, just him wanting to play with his paper boat, right? And Billy just faking sick just so he didn't, couldn't 
didn't want to play with his brother. But again, that's also the sad part of the beginning of the movie. As again, that's the opening of the movie. If you think about it, it's the opening of the movie. Where, of course, Billy is pretending to be sick just because he doesn't want to play with his little brother. But he does make him a paper boat to play out in the rain. And, yeah, of course, it going into the sewers. And, of course, seeing Pennywise. Which, I swear... I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and tell y'all this. I swear, if you see... Like, if you... Like, I'm saying this in real life, not just in the movie. But if you saw something in the sewers, like Pennywise, I would immediately advise that you get away from there. Right? If there was something like Pennywise just coming out of the sewer and talking to you, yeah, that's a bad sign that y to stay away from there. <laughs> but, of course, poor Georgie got, you know, with him being so innocent as well and so little that he easily got tricked right which yeah Pennywise can definitely do that he can trick the kids in Derry making them believe that you know making them feel bad for them kind of like on the 2019 chapter 2 I'll just say the second chapter one where with Vicky right with that little girl at the baseball field and yeah that was that's kind of a that's that saying kind of is like a little nod to the opening of the first movie if you think about it because yeah vicky she knows like if you're my friend why are you in this why are you in the dark like she is knowing that something is not right and saying that you're you're scary to Pennywise and then trying to walk away. But, of course, Pennywise, being his usual self, crying and saying that people are judging him, judge him on the way he looks. But, of course, just to trick... Just to trick her, though. And, again, I do love the Loser Club, right? The Loser Gang. Billy... Beverly, Ben, it's either Mikey or Michael, it's something like that, I know it's one of those two, um, Stan, or Stanley, um, Richie, and, um, Eddie, yeah, <laughs> again, I can get most of all of them, except for, Mike or Michael, again, it's either one of those two that it is. But, again, I really do love the the Loser Club, as they're also called. And, especially with their interactions when they come to first meeting, meeting Pennywise as well, is crazy. Right? And all the moments that happen toward, with them, though. And some of the kids that you have to feel bad for, especially... How the adults are. How the parents are in Derry. Like, the, the parents in Derry are such SOBs, I'll just say. And, which, I have seen people say, like in comments, saying that it's, again, something that Pennywise cursed the whole town, causing the parents not to realize what's going on. I mean, go back to the opening, right? To the opening of the first movie. Right? Wherein Georgie was looking into the sewer, talking to Pennywise. And you see that old lady, right? You see that lady just opening the blinds to her house, and she just sees Georgie. And and I just love the cat's reaction, too. Especially when Georgie gets taken down, to dragged into the sewers, and the cat is just so horrified looking of what just happened. And, of course, the adults don't even know what's it actually happening though and especially Beverly's dad yeah Beverly's dad is people say that he's probably more creepier than Pennywise himself <laughs> I mean yeah I could say that though I could definitely say that yeah he's definitely a creep <laughs> Beverly's dad is definitely a creep 
I can definitely say that for sure. How he just... All these things that he does to Beverly, you, you just feel bad for all the kids. Like I said, this town is horrible. That De or Derry. The whole town of Derry is horrible when it comes to the adults. When it comes to the parents. It's just horrible for the stuff that the kids are put into. And, of course, when it comes to Eddie's mom being overprotective. Which, yeah, Beverly's dad is obviously overprotective as well. But, yeah, Eddie's mom, of course, making him believe that he's sick and needing inhalers and medicine and stuff. Which, yeah, I'm guessing he would need inhalers and stuff. I can understand that. But making him believe that he's sick and he shouldn't be out. Like, yeah, that's just... That's, again, that's just messed up for the parents and Derry. And, yeah, I can I can sort of understand Billy's parents, at least his dad, when, you know, when Billy was trying to figure out, explain of what could have happened to Georgie, and his dad having to tell him that Georgie is gone, he's not coming back, which, yeah, that was a, that was a sad scene as well, which, I mean, it's sad, but it's also, I hate to say that it was true as well, trying to tell... Him trying to tell his son that his brother isn't coming back. And same thing with Ben. How him being picked on at school. Which, yeah, Beverly also, I've meant to mention as well. Beverly and Ben being picked on at school by Henry. Henry Bowers. Which, yeah, he's quite an interesting also antagonists. There are several antagonists. Of course, Pennywise is the main antagonist, but there are other side antag villains, antagonists in this movie, like Henry Bowers and his group, right? His gang. Right? His gang. And like I mentioned, Beverly's dad is pretty much a villain, or all the parents are in Derry are pretty much villains within themselves. <laughs> I can just say. Especially how the loser club is being treated by... Supposed to be their loving parents in Derry. But, yeah, they, they treat them like shit. <laughs> I mean, it's true. It's true, though. But, like I said, he's definitely... Definitely another crazy character as well and especially with him I don't know if I would say possessed by Pennywise but he also sort of was helping Pennywise as well especially you know before that saying of Henry taking out his own dad as well after getting his knife that Pennywise found yeah Pennywise was sort of using Henry Bowers, especially um, when it came to the house, when they were in the house, which I'm going to get back to that, of course, in just a second, about Pennywise's house, but again, just, especially when it came to the um, second movie, right, how somehow Henry Bowers survived, especially, you know, how he fell a very long drop in the first movie, and he somehow is alive in the second one. Like, yeah. And of course he gets put into an insane asylum, though, of course. He gets put into an insane asylum, because all the adults think he's gone mad, right, over the whole, over the whole Pennywise situation, and the loser gang. And, like I mentioned, if I ever... If I ever saw a house like Pennywise's on the movies, I would make sure to stay far, 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 far. I wouldn't even be in the same street. I would make sure to not even be in the same street. Because that is definitely a house that, yeah, you would definitely want to stay as far as far as far away as you can. Because, does that look like a house that you would want to go in? I mean, it's old, it looks like it's going to fall apart, there's boards over the windows, 
Like, yeah, is that really a house that you would want to go into? Like, surely, surely not. Right? Surely not. Surely, that is definitely not of a house that you would definitely not want to go into. Right? You would definitely want to stay as far away as you can from it. And, like I just, like, or, and of course, like those, um, those some kind of, those jump scare like moments, which really didn't get me as much. Really because I was kind of expecting something to happen, and it really didn't surprise me as much when it comes to those types of moments. And, like I said, there was, definitely, there was definitely a lot of emotional moments and a lot of funny moments in this movie that I really did enjoy. And I just love the different creatures that Pennywise was being like, like a zombie, right? When Eddie was walking by the past Pennywise's house, before he met Pennywise at the house, after he was dropping, after he dropped his pills and we're picking him up and we see the zombie that was chasing him. Right? For example, like, yeah, he can transform into different things. Different interesting things, I can definitely say for sure. And, of course, the ending was also... Which, I, I like both endings, to be honest. I do like both endings to the mo both movies. I can't really say which ending I do prefer, because I like both endings. The whole first one when Billy and Beverly Sarah kiss with each other, and when all of the loser gang make their promise of if Pennywise ever returns, which of course he did 27 years later when they were all adults, then they will go and fight him again. Which again, they do in this, again, what they do in the sequel in the second chapter. Yeah, definitely a really good one. And, yeah, I can say that the ending to the second one was also kind of sad as well. Especially with them losing another member of, um, of the Loser Club. Not only that they lose, they lost Stan, you know, of what happened to Stan. And, but also losing Eddie there in the fight, right? But, again, either way, like I said, I definitely enjoy both movies. But I definitely wanted to give more of a... More thoughts. I wanted to break down more thoughts on the first movie, especially. And, again, I'm definitely looking forward to the Welcome to Derry. I'm just not sure exactly when we're going to be seeing an official trailer. I know there's, you know, those concept trailers that you may see online. But I mean like an official, official, real trailer, first look trailer, that's going to be for the show, the TV series. Because again, it is going to be a series on HBO Max next year. So, I mean, as long as it's not delayed again, right? Because I know it was supposed to come out this year, but it got delayed till next year. I mean, it's, it, all, it, all we know as of right now is 2025. We don't have an exact month. It could be October. It could be early 2025 or mid. Again, somewhere in 2025, the prequel series will be coming out. But again, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Especially to seeing how how they're going to do this prequel series. Because, you know, with it being a prequel, it's going to be taking place before, you know, the events of the first movie, right? In the second movie, obviously. So, yeah. Definitely, definitely have high hopes for them to make a very good prequel. But, yeah. I'd like to know what y'all think. Let me know across the below. Catch you next one.